What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> uh, I have another Bluetooth-related video today. And this one is... Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your PS3 keypad, uh, keypad to your iPod Touch or iPhone. Of course, running iOS 4.3.3. So let's go ahead and turn on Bluetooth like usual. And it's not in there, of course. Now, as for the keypad, what you want to do is hold down the blue button as you're turning on the keypad. So hold this down and then turn it on. And then keep holding it down until all of the lights start flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright. Here you go. Now see the power light, the caps lock light, and the touchpad light are all blinking and the iPod Touch has recognized it so let's go ahead and pair now it's going to ask you to uh, type in a specific pin code it's a random code each time you pair it, it's not the same one so it's 5583 and what you have to do is type the code directly on the keypad itself so 5583 and then you hit the enter key on the keypad as well so once I do that it is now connected, as you can see there. Now, what you can do with this is basically anything that requires typing, it will use this instead of the on-screen keyboard. So, well, of course the search is different, but like as for notes, you go into notes, hit a new note, and it will recognize the keypad again, and you can see here, see here, I'm going to type hi. There you go. It says hi. And then, of course, you can see there's no on screen keyboard. It's all being done from this. And it has all of the symbols you would recognize from a normal keyboard, just the keys are smaller. So, let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, well, let me delete it for some reason. Alright, there we go. On. Now you could also, like, say, use it in Safari to type something into Google. Let's try it out here. Go down here. Let's say YouTube. And enter. There you go. YouTube right here. So yeah, like I said, you can yeah, go into your, the type bar in, or the search bar in YouTube, and I could type in iPod, all from here, and then hit enter, and it starts searching. There you go. And this will also work really kind of cool if you have like an iPad or a special little stand for your iPod Touch or iPhone. And you could use uh, this with Pages, the Apple's version of Word doc, and you can type it, uh, documents faster with this, it's just, and there's less mistakes, so it's pretty good. And another thing I want to point out is you also can use a Bluetooth keyboard, which I don't have, but of course you could use a Bluetooth keyboard if you would like, if you, excuse me, if you prefer a bigger style keyboard. So, yeah. Oops. Okay, well, yeah, thank you for watching this. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thumbs up the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.